We got a lot to cover in today's video. Another week, another PlayStation Store sale. This one's an EA Publisher sale, and there's some pretty good deals available right now that I want to go over. On top of that, we've got some free content for the PlayStation 4 exclusive Fist of the North Star, and along with that is accompanying three free themes you can download right now. Free is the name of the game, so whenever something's available for free, I'd like to let you guys know about it. The Witcher's developer, CD Projekt Red, is one of the most beloved studios in the world. However, the author of the Witcher books, is demanding additional royalties from CD Projekt Red, and CD Projekt Red is disputing it and calling it groundless. Looks like they're caught up in a little bit of drama, so I want to take a look at that. On top of that, we've got a classic adventure game coming to the PlayStation 4 this fall. Yet another game announced for this fall, and it looks to be coming very soon. Fallout 76 has been a little bit under the radar recently as far as new gameplay content goes, but Pete Hines is saying that next week there's gonna be like 400 hours of Fallout 76 footage to watch. I think 400 100 hours might be a little bit excessive, but we'll take a look at that at the end of this video. First up, let's take a look at the EA Publisher sale that is running on the PlayStation Store right now. We're not going to do an entire video covering the sale, so I'll give you guys my input on all of the deals available right now. We'll try to have a more in-depth look than regular. So let's take a look at some of the better deals available. Battlefield 1 is 87% off for $5.19. I know a lot of you guys are not all too excited for Battlefield 5. Battlefield 1 was a pretty great game. It's less than 10% of the cost that Battlefield 5 is gonna be, so if you just want a quality multiplayer Battlefield experience, BF1 isn't a bad pickup. Titanfall 2 Ultimate Edition is also discounted. You guys know that I always like to go to bat for that, but you guys have heard me gush about that all the time, so at this point, if you haven't picked it up, what are you doing? The Ultimate Edition is 80% off for $7.99. Pretty good deal there. For those of you that are RPG buffs, Dragon Age Inquisition Game of the Year Edition is 75% off down to $9.99. One of the early great games of the PlayStation 4. At this point, RPG-wise, it has has been outpaced by some other releases, some games like Persona 5 or Witcher 3 on the western side of things, but I still thought that Dragon Age Inquisition was a rather good game, and at $9.99, it's definitely worth a pickup, and with the Game of the Year edition, you get a ton of extra content on top of the base game, a game that'll keep you busy for quite a while. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is available 75% off for $9.99, EA continues to update the game, and they haven't given up on it, so maybe not a bad time to check that out. Of course, so much controversy surrounding Battlefront 2 at the time of its release, a lot of that has been remedied, but it is still feeling the after effects of all of the bad decisions that EA made. But now at $9.99, while Battlefront 2, now is as good of a time as ever to pick it up. All right, this next deal is probably the best deal available as a part of this sale, and it's a deal that I think I caused this to happen. All right, I'm not going to take entire credit of it, but Burnout Paradise Remastered, it's 70% off down to $8.99. Now, this game was released back in March of 2018. A lot of people were excited for it, and I was one of those people being very vocal about the fact that I thought this game was overpriced at $39.99. Alright, I thought it was a little bit overpriced, but come on, EA, I didn't say to drop it down below $10 in six months. Maybe they always had the plan in their head to drop down the price of Burnout Paradise Remastered. I'm sure I didn't push EA to do anything, but that is pretty funny. If you guys go back to videos I was making back in March prior to the release of Burnout Paradise Remastered, I kept talking about how this game was a little overpriced for my taste, and now six months later, it's down to a measly $9. Burnout Paradise is a fantastic game, and $9 is an absolute bargain for that game, and it is just a blast of a racing game, an arcade racing experience, and a very good one at that. Mirror's Edge Catalyst is 75% off for $4.99. I think that's a rather good game at that price. I think when it was originally released at $59.99, a lot of you guys were disappointed by it. But at this price, definitely a more palatable pickup. NFS Rivals, another racing game, is at $4.99. Pretty good deal. You've got the Unravel Yarny Bundle, which includes Unravel and Unravel 2. $14.99 for that isn't all too bad. A couple of Battlefield bundles in there as well, but those are the majority of the great deals. Definitely give it a look for yourself. I know EA isn't everyone's favorite publishers, but no doubt they have put out some good games in their time. All right, now it's great to get stuff on sale, but how about some free content for Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise? There's a Kazuma Kiryu skin DLC that is free on PSN right now, and this is only going to be available for a limited time free. Of course, Kazuma Kiryu is the main character of Yakuza 6, and the Yakuza team was behind Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise, so that makes a lot of sense. And on top of that, you do have three Fist of the North Star themes, the Lost Paradise cast theme, the Roa theme, and the Thouser theme, all available absolutely free on the PlayStation Store. So if you're excited for the game, or even if you're not, why not just get the free content? Because I saw a lot of you guys comment saying that you're going to check out this game when it is down to $30, so why not snag the free content while it is available absolutely free? Finger 
strike! <laughs> Moving on from that, we all love ourselves some CD Projekt Red, we all love ourselves Witcher. However, CD Projekt Red is in a dispute with the author of the Witcher franchise, Asa Pauski, and he is asking for additional royalties for the game. CD Projekt Red got a notice and the author, quote, expects payment of additional royalties beyond what had been contractually agreed upon between himself and the company. The demands expressed in the notice are groundless with regard to their merit as well as their stipulated amount. The company had legitimately and legally acquired copyright to Mr. Andraj Sapowski's work, as is required for its use in games developed by the company. All liabilities payable to the company in association therewith have been properly discharged. Sounds like there are some groundless claims, but we'll keep you updated on this issue as it does play out. Always a little bit messy when we get into the legal side of gaming. Hopefully this has a smooth conclusion. Moving on from that, another day, another PlayStation 4 game announced this time around. It is the classic adventure game Shadowgate coming to the PlayStation 4 this fall. Now, if you don't know what Shadowgate is, it's a classic point-and-click adventure game from the 80s. And this time around, it will be reimagined for the PlayStation 4. There's a post going over everything that the reimagining will feature, including first-person adventuring, utilize your inventory, mapping system, and intuitive UI to complete your quest, dangerous dungeons, tons of beautifully illustrated rooms featuring both new and familiar locations offering a new gameplay experience, mind-bending puzzles, lots of new and updated puzzles that seamlessly expand on the original game, difficulty levels, four different difficulty levels that actually change the gameplay experience and puzzle structure for the ultimate challenge try Iron Man mode that disables saves and requires players to finish the game in one try. There's retro mode that'll allow you to play the game like it's 1989, toggle on to listen to the original NES chiptunes, move between rooms with pixelated transitions, and follow the text in retro format. The storytelling is set to feature dramatic cutscenes and all the same great storytelling you expect from the original creators. A cinematic score, a digitally orchestrated dynamic soundtrack that changes with gameplay by composer Rich Douglas, soundscapes a complete atmospheric and puzzle-based sound design featuring hundreds of sound effects and a variety of achievements and trophies to unlock. Shadowgate will be released on the PlayStation 4 sometime this fall. And lastly, I want to talk a little bit about Fallout 76 as we are closing in on the game's beta. That'll be happening on October 30th on the PlayStation 4 a week earlier for those of you with an Xbox One. Some of you guys might be eager to see more gameplay of Fallout 76. Rusty Bit over on Twitter said, Hey Pete, why does F76 barely have any real gameplay, but Doom Eternal, which releases way later, has a very well done demo shown with real gameplay? Not a bad question. Pete Hines did say in about a week there's gonna be like 400 hours of Fallout 76 footage to watch. That's because there was a preview event that was held at the Green Bear Hotel in West Virginia and a lot of content creators got to play the game early and they recorded footage and all of that footage should be out in the next week. Now, I don't know about this 400 hour number. I don't know if he was just being a little bit hyperbolic, but it does look like a lot of new Fallout 76 footage will be coming out. So for those of you that aren't completely sold on the game and that seems to be like a ton of you, checking out all of the new footage that Fallout 76 will have in the coming week will be pretty exciting. Of course, the game will be seeing a break it in early test application again on October 30th. Not your typical beta as it's pretty much a finished product at this point, but the game will be available in nearly its entirety in broken increments of a set amount of hours. They said anywhere from four to eight hours. So you'll be able to check it out then as well if you pre-order the game. So that is going to conclude this video. Again, a fantastic EA sale is running right now. Burnout Paradise Remastered, 70% off for $8.99 quite a fantastic deal, would highly recommend you to check out that. If deals aren't good enough for you, well then Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise has some free content available, a Cosmic Kiryu skin is absolutely free, as well are three Fist of the North Star PS4 static themes. The Witcher's author is seeking more royalties from CD Projekt Red, but CD Projekt Red is calling it groundless. Classic adventure game in Shadowgate is coming to the PlayStation 4 this fall, and Fallout 76 will get a load of new footage in the coming week. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.